Alright folks, we're going to do something fun today. We're going to do a blind taste test. Cafe Verona by Starbucks. Taste bold and brilliant. And Joe Certified Organic Coffee Perfected. Now I'm going to drink them blind and we'll see which one I like best. Ready? Okay, so I don't know which cup of coffee is which right no idea and here we go it's all right see that one's got a little more flavor than that one hmm that one's kind of middle of the road medium I think this one's my favorite. I don't know. That's the thing about doing it blind. I don't know. It takes all of your inner, you know, takes all of your inner biases out. And now you have to go by what's the taste of the cup. Yeah. It's definitely the boldest of the three bolds. Hey buddy, can I do it? What's that buddy? Can I try? Sure, come on down. Yay! <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, it's a little, it's kind of sweet. It's uh, no sugar, but it's still got almost like a, an inherent sweetness, if you would. Got a good balanced flavor, I believe is the term, the technical jargon, if you will. Kind yeah, of middle of the road, kind of. I think I agree. I think the middle one's the best. Shall we? You want to? You? Do you want to? You gonna? You want to do this? Okay. 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 <laughs> Thanks, pal. Okay. Um, I don't know. It's definitely the strongest, but is it the best? It's got almost a, a almost a ripe sweetness to it. All right, we're gonna we're just gonna let's find out what we got here. That's Joe's. My favorite is Verona. Oh, Verona. Oh, Verona? No. It's, it's, my, it's my Verona. My Verona. And that would leave tasted. Huh. I thought that was my favorite, but... I'm a Verona man, apparently. Who knew? So anyway, folks, that was our taste test challenge. Hey guys, it's me, Dark Friend. Let me try some of this coffee. You don't have a mouth, buddy. What? But well, it, it smells good. You don't have a nose either, you silly, silly man. Acting! Whew. Well, that was weird. So I guess it would have been one, two, three. Joe's, I don't know what that, that, that little back sweetness is. I mean, it's a, it's a decent cup of Joe. But you know, I think Verona's the hands down winner, folks. Sorry, taste. But you have to give kudos to both the taste people and Joe's for having the common sense to use a non-plastic mechanism. Starbucks, Starbucks has to put it in plastic, which you're gonna heat up. Who wants heated up plastic when you can have nice, organic, delicious, not plastic? Thanks, Taste. Thanks, Joe. Shame on you, Starbucks. Plastic. Why, Starbucks? 
Of course, I don't know what you'd expect from the people who, I don't know, waste food every single day at every single one of their stores. Thank you. Crazy, right? Crazy, right? But you throw away millions every year. Today, because of the new foldovers, you're throwing away 14 sandwiches. Now, if every store averaged that, that's over 100 million sandwiches every year. Cooked for display and then thrown away. In the six years since I quit Starbucks, you've thrown away like half a billion sandwiches. That's absurd. I mean, right? Half a billion sandwiches. Cooked for display and then thrown away. Why, Howard, why are you doing this to us, man? Do you know how many people half a billion sandwiches could have fed? Why on earth would you throw away that much food? So we're asking you nicely. Take pictures of your sandwiches. Sell sandwiches. Stop wasting food. Today you threw away nine sandwiches at this store. If you average nine throwaways per store, that's 70 million a year. And since I left, 424. 424 million sandwiches cooked for display, and thrown away. We just want to feed humans, man. Yeah, man, we just want to feed people. And we're going to get thrown away. Save the sandwiches. Save the sandwiches. I don't know, maybe take pictures of homeless people enjoying sandwiches. Post those up there instead of just wasting the food. But I digress. Anyway, that was our taste test challenge, and... Hey guys, it's me, Dark Friend. 